guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be creating this makeup look which is inspired by a character called Brooke from the new Ice Age Collision Course film. And her character is actually voiced by Jessie J which is awesome because she is one of pop music's queens. And if you haven't been introduced to Brooke yet, here is a quick clip of her before we begin the makeup tutorial. Well, hello handsome. I'm Brooke. <laughs> oh, such exquisite bone structure, such a strong jaw. I'm getting butterflies. I'm getting nauseous. So, to begin this tutorial, I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Foundation and a damp beauty blender to apply a nice even base. It's a medium to full coverage foundation, so it's going to give you flawless skin. Ta-da! Next, I'm using my NYX HD Finishing Powder, which is translucent, and I'm using that to lock and set the foundation in place, which also takes away any shine. I'm using my Real Techniques Powder Brush to do this. It's brow time, and I'm using my Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills to gently fill them in and make them a little bit more defined. Eyebrows complete. Now for a little bit of contouring. Brooke has killer cheekbones for a sloth, so I'm using my Hula Bronzer from Benefit just to chisel out my cheekbones and also I'm taking it down the sides of my nose. And then just buffing it out to make it look a little bit more subtle. Time to add some colour into my cheeks and Brooke seems to love pink so I'm using my Tarte blush in shade Fearless, taking it along my cheeks to make them rosy and a tiny little bit on the tip of my nose as Brooke's is a little bit pink. I'm then just taking my buffing brush to really work it into my skin. Now for my favourite part, which is adding some glow. I'm taking my Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette and taking the orangey gold shade. I'm just taking it across my cheekbones and you might need to get your sunglasses out because this highlighter is brighter than the sun. I also applied it down my nose, the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. Eyeshadow next, starting with an orange shade, I'm taking it all across my eyelid. I decided to go with orange and pink as it seems to be the theme for Brooke's character. Once the orange is blended out, it's then time to go in with the pink eyeshadow and I'm just placing it on the outer third of my eyelid, smoking it out and also bringing it down under my lower lash line whilst creating a new inner corner. An extra trick for the illusion of larger eyes is using a white eyeliner on your lower lash line and the one I'm using is by NYX. To make my eyes pop, I'm using the lightest colour in my highlighting palette and applying that into the inner corner of my eyes. Brooke definitely has lined eyes, so I'm taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and lining my eyes and adding a small wing on each eye. Always take your time when doing liner, you do not want to ruin all of the hard work that we've done so far. Also, if any of you are wondering about my blue eyes, they are blue circle lenses because Brooke has very, very blue eyes and I wanted to match and I just think they look fantastic. Next is time for mascara. I'm using my Benefit Their Real Mascara and I'm just giving a light coat to my top and my lower lashes because we definitely need strong eyelashes as Brooke's are super long and lovely. Moving on to the false eyelashes, just take some of your favourite ones and carefully glue them as closely to your upper lash line as possible. And of course, we need pink lips to match Brooks next, so I'm taking a pink lipstick and I'm applying it as a base. I'm then going to go in with a white jumbo pencil on the centre of my lips before blending it out with a brush because this creates a very nice ombre effect which I'm really enjoying at the moment. It's a very, very pretty way to do your lips. Now that the makeup is done, I really wanted to have the flowers that are in Brooke's hair and I have chosen some flowers. I have some pink ones, orange ones and some baby yellow ones to match the ones that she has. And I'm just going to take some bobby pins and pin them into my hair like a little flower crown. Just make sure that you have enough bobby pins and your flowers have enough stem to pin them down into your hair and you will have a beautiful head of flowers just like Brooke does. And we're done! This is my finished makeup look inspired by Brooke. Don't forget, if you want to join her and the rest of the herd on an epic adventure, then Ice Age Collision Course film is out on July 15th, so be sure to check out all the information down below. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to boop the thumbs up button and click subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!
Ice Age Collision Course. 